Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here in our stable with so many of our amazing horses. We have Rowstone, our traditional companion horse over there with Thistledown, followed by Amethyst Mist, one of our magical horses that we got during the special event I think last March, which was very, very exciting. She is currently purple, but out and about she is usually a more subdued color. She's just really, really fun. She's normally gray, but oh man, I love it when she's purple. Then we have our brand, one of our brand new horses I should say Silver Secret and Silver Secret is quite amazing he's our lippy I absolutely love him he does the amazing little posture when you can rear him up and he'll kind of dance for you really awesome and he is another one of our best racers too because he is our second highest level horse and then finally we have our brand new pony this is Autumn Promise and she is our brand new pony and she is going to be the star of the day today because we are going to do what we can to hopefully level her up and also take her over so that she can be in the race that Polly has for us. So come on Autumn Promise, we've got to take her over and get her some good gear. We've got to get her all set up so she has her own saddle pet. I'm kind of wondering if we should borrow the gear from Rose Stone and take Rose Stone's gear, but I think it'll be worth it to go ahead and get Autumn Promise some gear of her own. So let's see what we have available. We've got the green Fortuna saddle. Oh my gosh, that brings back memories. The brown hurricane saddle. Maybe maybe brown hurricane bridle we've also got the beautiful seafaring saddle oh that actually looks really good on her and that is also from um south of peninsula so she's from south of peninsula and so is that saddle we have the star saddle as well but i think i'm okay without that it's not quite my usual uh the usual colors i would pick the pitch black saddle pad we'll go ahead and put that on the bottom um and then i kind of want to use the brown hurricane bridle, but there's so many other options for better bridles out there. Well, we'll go ahead and start with the brown hurricane bridle and we'll kind of work our way up. And then do I, I really actually don't want to put leg wraps on her because it's so pretty to see her little long fur. She's got little tufts around her hooves. I really, really like that. So we'll go ahead and leave that alone. And then finally, I need to get her a saddle bag and a saddle pet. Hmm. We'll go ahead and use the exclusive ice flow bag from when we gathered up the saddle pets from the iceberg. Do you remember that? That was quite the event. And then let's see, any pets that I think would be good for her? Actually, I know the pet I thought would be good for her. I think, you guys, it's actually Tiger Lily. I think Tiger Lily, our Toyger, would actually be very happy with Autumn Promise because they would both be into searching around leaves and studying these small secrets in the forest, the small little wild places. That's what Autumn Promise really loves, and I think that is what our little Toyger really loves as well. So we're going to go ahead and put put our wonderful little tiger lily there. I think that that's just a perfect match. I didn't know it was going to be, but it's just, it's a great match. So there we go. All right. I'm not sure about this saddle either. I kind of feel like I need to get her something maybe a little different. Do I have the fur grove saddle yet? And we need, we need a new bridle and we need a new saddle bag for sure. So hang on just a second. Do I have anything else? Those are all clothes nothing for gear so i really do need to kind of stock up on gear i do leave a lot of the gear on my current horses too um let's see and yeah i think that the black saddle blanket is probably the best for what what she can wear right now yeah we'll get her some new gear that'll be that'll be one of our goals a new saddle bag one that matches a little bit better but i don't want to use the the old one and because i don't think that i don't think that Tiger Lily would appreciate if we use the old one. And I think I want to get her a new saddle too. Maybe the Fir Grove saddle? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll go to Fir Grove today. But let's go ahead and start with Steve's race. It's going to be her very first race. Our cute little pony in her very first race. All right. We've got this, you guys. And then, oh, look at Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily's like, I know I'm with a newbie. But I think Tiger Lily feels like she can kind of watch over all of Autumn Promise's growth this way. So I don't think Tiger Lily has a problem with this. All right. <laughs> She's so cute and slow. <laughs> it's so slow. Oh my goodness. Training a new horse is so adorable. I just feel like I've gotten to the point where it's like I'm leading a little baby. And you're like, okay, come on, you can do it. And you're so used to just like whizzing by everything. Oh my gosh. 
Well, I'm really happy to have a pony, that's for sure. And this way we can get our pony race done and finally complete that quest. And she is formerly a wild horse too, or a wild pony, I should say. Uh, and man, she's so beautiful. I love the brown coat. I'm really, really glad I went with the brown coat. And I love her name. I just love the idea. I think the hollowed woods were, especially for a pony that grew up like out, <laughs> out in the peninsula where there were practically no trees. And the only trees I remember are dead because they're inside of that stone circle and dead. Um, but I think that she would really love that place. I just get the feeling that the hollowed woods would kind of be Autumn Promises area. So we might go over there with her in just a little bit. There's a couple of quests we could wrap up over there. So maybe she'd be able to get a little bit of experience that way. Not to mention that area might have some different saddles and different uh, gear that would look good on her and really just match her personality. That's more what I'm looking for with a lot of our horses is not only does it look good, but it matches their personality. And being a forest loving horse, ironically, because she is not from a foresty place, I think Autumn Promise would actually really love having the fir grove saddle on with its beautiful, with its beautiful leaf motifs. All right. There you, oh, she leveled up, you guys. Huzzah, congratulations, Autumn Promise, already leveling up. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, so let's go inside town because I think some of the fir grove, ironically, some of the fir grove saddle stuff is sold here in this town. That's what a lot of you guys have been told, telling me. And then we'll go over and I think we'll take her to Moorland really quickly so that she can race over there and level up a little bit. We'll have to see, let me see. All right, riding over here. And then I think right here we have, okay, that's a pink saddle, all right. The fir grove saddle. Then we have moon reins. Wow, these are not what I thought they would be. Oh, look at the little woolen hat. You guys, it's so cute. and so cute. I really like it. What, what are the clothes? Oh my gosh, moon t-shirt. What are some of the other clothes? Blue warm jacket. There are some new warm jackets. I really like the little brown woolen hat, actually. I want to get it. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. But I'm going to get it with my star coins. <laughs> I really like it. It's just too cute. This is going to be my new hat for winter. I need a new shirt now, like a new wintery shirt. So that's another thing that we'll have to do pretty soon. All right, so I didn't expect to do that. But you know what? I can get a little distracted by the fashion here in this town. And then there are some flowers. I see I spy with my little eye. Some flowers we might be able to put, put on her potentially. There's the green, and these are, no, they're really brightly colored. I would say something more subdued, like clovers, for instance. If I had managed to get my hands on those clovers, oh, I really wanted those clover head decorations um, from the Fortune Festival, but I missed out on that. Um, actually, let's come over here, just kind of look at this stuff. Silverglade Village, Baroness's hat, Baroness's blanket. Where's the saddles? Here we go. The village saddle, oh, my gosh, that's so pretty. It's not the best, but it's so pretty. I don't think it'll be as good as the uh, fir grove saddle, though. So we'll go ahead and check the fir grove saddle out in a little bit. All right, so there's that stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and go to Moreland next to be able to level her up again. Or maybe fir grove. I kind of want to take her to fir grove and just get her, get her like set up. So let's go to fir grove next. All right, fir grove onward. And then at the end of today, hopefully we'll be able to go over to Polly and complete that race. All right, I'm excited. Oh, Autumn promise, I promise I'll take a care of you. I promise <laughs> it'll be a little hard because I have so many horses and there's so many things I need to do, but I will try. All right, so let's come over here and then let's see what we've got. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, you guys. It's not as good for racing, but it's so pretty. I want it. I want it. I want to put it on her. I think it's so lovely. Just look at it. Um, and then the saddle blank the blanket. Do I want to change the blanket? I don't know. I'm actually okay. I mean, the little leaf pattern is really cute, but I'm actually okay with that. And fur grove reins. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get the fur grove reins and put those on. Because see how it balances out? The little black saddle blanket actually balances out with the black of her mane and everything like that. Um, and there's the red training helmet. Here's a few outfits. Red line jacket. Oh, cool. I like the little checkered jacket. That's really cute, actually. Silver glade top. 
Um, the master of the mountains. Whoa, that's eight writing, you guys. That's eight writing and four command. That's pretty nice, actually. I'm going to go ahead and buy that, too, and then put that on. Look at us. We're all ready to go for winter. Oh, except for little... Except for our little tiger lily. So I do need to go ahead and find like somebody selling animal little animal bags That looks so good. I love it. I really love it And I love my new little hat. Ah, oh, I'm always so surprised by all of the fashion I am not into fashion in my personal life whatsoever and yet this I'm just I, I fall in love with it All right, so we're actually going to go over to Fort Pinta now and Yes, so Fort Pinta and then we're going to go and get a new saddle bag of some kind for Tiger Lily. One that matches a little bit better. And then, I hope that they have the saddle bags we're looking for here. And then we're going to go to Moreland, do one or two quick races, and then take our little pony up to Pony Point. So let's go over to the saddle bags. Do, do, do. And what is one? I wish I could see a little bit better to see what really matches. So there's a brown one. There's a classic saddlebag. Can I like turn us somehow and see? All right, hang on. Maybe if I turn like this, this will be. Yes, all right, now I can see. Oh, the green one would look really good. So we could get the green one. The brown one would look okay. This one would look okay too. Um, the green, it doesn't quite match, does it? Hmm. Hmm, decisions, 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 decisions. Let's go with the brown one or the black one. Maybe I should get the little black one. Guys, why is this so hard? Why is this so complicated? It shouldn't be so complicated. This should be easier to pick. Oh, why are they so expensive? Um, We're gonna go with the little black one because then anything we get in the future probably will match pretty good. Uh, there we go. Oh, it looks so good. You guys, we are ready for winter now. <laughs> Autumn, this feels, it feels right to have a little hat like this on when we're riding a horse named Autumn, doesn't it? Oh, and there's the decorations. Let's turn her. I really can't think, I mean, maybe leaves. Are they just like plain leaves you can put? I actually think even the, um, I think even just putting some of the spiders in her hair as a regular decoration would be a pretty good thing. So, all right, let's ride this way. Really, the horse head decorations, I'm really kind of addicted to them because they look so cool. All right, so off we go to Moreland Stables. And we are gonna go ahead and we are going to do just a couple quick races with our beautiful new pony. And then we'll go over and we will visit with Polly to see how our little pony race is going to do. That's something we've been have like we've been completing so many quests that have just been like in the background for ages now and it feels really good to wrap them up. All right, come on my little one. Hey Tan, lost money, what? I've saved for a long time to be able to buy new riding clothes and now my money is gone. I must have lost them. They have to be somewhere nearby. Can you help them look for me, please? There are three places I may have lost them in. Well, that's wonderful. I have a good feeling who has taken that money. And I have a feeling it has to do with a certain monkey. So we'll be back to check that out in a little bit. For now, today is all about Autumn Promise. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, we look so cute. We look so ready for winter. Oh, or more ready for like deep autumn leading into winter. Oh my goodness, it's so slow. This is why, cross my fingers, one day I will be able to do training days. It's just so hard with my schedule. There's always so many things going on and I have no idea how to stream. But yes, and then a lot of you guys keep asking, Siri, Siri, do training videos, and I'm not sure what a training video entails. Do I just race my horses and talk to you guys? Is it just kind of like race and relax? Is that is that kind of what it is? Because if you guys can let me know what I'm supposed to do in a training video, I'd be happy to, to remember that and hopefully eventually be able to make room for that. All right, come along, Autumn Promise. And around the corner, I wonder if we can get her up to level three today. That would be really exciting, actually. All right, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. All right. <laughs> that wasn't too terrible. It was only like maybe about 10 or so seconds slower than usual. And there's that. All right. So that, that also gives us a lot of reputation with Portland Stables. I forget that. And then we're actually going to come over and do Josh's race because I think I can do it pretty quickly. And it gives decent enough experience. 
especially because then we don't have to go all the way up and down when we're kind of a little slower than normal. And going all the way up to the abandoned farm and then coming back down is a little painful when you're super slow. I won't lie. All right, we can do this. Who knows, Autumn Promise, maybe it'll be easier to guide you around because you're a little bit slower. All right, there we go. And there's that one. There's this one. Oh, you're a natural. You're a natural. Oh, I'm so happy to have her in the leaves. And it'll be really fun just to wander the hollowed woods. We might try to use Autumn Promise, oddly enough, as our racer, just for the sake of like story around Valdel. So maybe not the lake. <laughs> that would be kind of hard to race with a pony around the lake track. But more around the village might be really fun because there's a couple races near the village that we could do. All right, there we go. That wasn't too bad. That was only like six seconds slower than last time, I think. All right, getting a little bit closer to leveling up. And now let's go ahead. Should we go to Fort Pinta? Or would it be faster just to like race there from here? Hmm. I don't think it's terribly much faster. So we're just gonna go ahead and ride over to Pony Point now. This is what it has all come down to. This is this is where it all came from. The whole reason that Autumn Promise has joined our family now, other than just the fact that I think Autumn Promise is a beautiful horse and we always were going to get one of those wild ponies, is because we need to do this pony quest. So let's climb our way up. Up we go. Come on. <laughs> ah. And then just sit back and relax. That's kind of the fun thing with starting with a new horse too, is taking a few steps back and just kind of embracing the beginning of the adventures again. And I've noticed that before too, because it forces you to slow down, to actually slow down. And then all of the places that you have been traveling and all of the places that you have been looking over and all of the things you've just blazed right past because you've been past them again and again on your really fast horses, you kind of get a chance to see them with fresh eyes because you're going so slow. You're just like, oh wow, yeah. Yeah, Jarl's tomb, I remember this. Or yeah, look at that daisy that was over there. Do you remember gathering up all those lost sheep nearby? That was pretty fun. So I like that too. I like the way it really does. It, it, sometimes it can seem frustrating, but I actually really do like the way it makes you slow down so that you can see the same world that you race by on so quickly. Again, fresh through new eyes and a lot of new memories. All right, so let's come on down. I know you're down here. Woo, it's not quite what I meant to do. All right, well, she managed it. <laughs> I meant to come down a little bit more gently than that, but I guess this was the more direct route. <gasps> All right, Polly. Polly, I am finally here. We have actually worked so hard to get to this point, Polly. So let me know. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna race. Oh, you get like no experience for doing this. <laughs> All right, I guess we can just take it really easy then. Oh, this is hilarious. We've got like ukulele music. Ukulele music when we've spent, whoa, hello here. Didn't expect to see that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. What is with this music? It's so cute. The jump broke? <gasps> what? No wonder. You guys, it broke. I didn't expect that. That actually, I thought it would, what? Okay, this quest may go on a little bit longer than I thought. I may have been, uh, I may have misjudged it. Just, just saying, just saying. I may have misjudged things. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, moving on. I had to admire how everything looks. So let's go back and tell Penny it broke. <laughs> Cause I did not expect that. I thought it was just gonna be like a simple, easy little race. And I wonder why they wanna make a new race. Like, do you get a claim? Do people have to pay you money? Is it just, is it just like a hobby thing? Like the way people make those uh, little disc golf courses. All right, let's come over here and race over. All right, bad news, Penny, bad news. Oh no, the jump broke. How did that happen? You barely touched it. What bad luck. What should we do now? We can't open the competition if the obstacles are broken. Hmm. Saga, this is a disaster. All the obstacles are broken except for one. How could this happen? I know, it was James. First he completely at first he was completely against our competition. Then he was suddenly nice about it. He's behind this. I know it. Saga, what should we do? Can you go and speak with James about this? Thank you. Oh, I really, I really hope you can help us with this. Otherwise, we'll have to cancel our plans for the pony competition. Hmm, sad ponies don't make anyone happy. <gasps> you guys, I know what we have to do. 
next time we really have to buckle down and tell James what for selling rotten equipment just to just to undermine his competition this crosses a line this makes ponies sad and we can't stand for that all right you guys i will see you next time when we will see what updates are coming to star stable next week and we might spend a little bit more time than i thought with autumn promise so that we can level her up and complete this pony competition quest so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>